hi dear friends actually uh, in my previous video i have discussed about the project preparation phase in the first I mean that is the first phase in as a sub asap methodology and as a second phase we i mean i i like to discuss about the blueprinting phase of uh, sap i mean sorry blueprinting phase in the sap methodology so actually here we have the set of uh, activities to be uh, considered so get the sap solution manager ready i mean installing the solman uh, during the project preparation uh, phase and keep it ready uh, to use for the blueprint phase and then uh, set the scope uh, in the uh, solman as a second activity so setting the prelim preliminary action that is initial phase uh, scopes in the solman uh, using the web page wizards right actually whatever it is available uh, so that uh, the sap consultant can do the scope verification exercise so that is important considered very important and as a third activity verifying whether the skill match with the scope the, i mean we need to match with the, the match the skill with the scope uh, that is expected by the uh, business so we need to match everything so as a fourth activity verifying the team selection and the mobilization is complete so we need to ensure that team members are mobilized on day day one especially yeah, if it is fixed uh, price and rate and then as a fifth uh, activity completing the project management plan so try to keep it uh, as close as the original document made on the day one so as a sixth phase actually it is not a mandatory thing but in some projects actually they will get it ready the IIDA system ready for the use to ensure the system is up uh, and running from day, day from the day one uh, for a system walkthrough to the uh, business core business users and the IT specialist and then follow SAP best practice uh, that as a seventh activity so actually we need to uh, I mean based on the scope and identifying the requirement uh, required business functions and then we need to activate the SAP best practices in the industry and then uh, say conduct hands-on workshop uh, for the uh, end users and core users so this will ex explain the objectives uh, of the project uh, for and each sap phase to be uh, to the customer and the end users so that thereby actually they will uh, understand the progress of the project and as a ninth step make workshop me uh, meeting minutes so uh, we need to uh, develop minutes of meeting uh, records and then circulate the meeting minutes to the users and the uh, and uh, uh, i mean at the end of each session so they will go through that and if any uh, say for example if any question or any uh, i mean uh, queries they will come and uh, reach out the it business team and the business stage so this will be more helpful to manage the gaps and reduce the gaps and misunderstanding miscommunication and give the uh, project success so initial phases I mean uh, when the project will uh, how the project success will be uh, calculated is by uh, giving uh, proper and more attentive initiation during the pro uh, initial phases of the project that will bring the success at the end of the projects this is to be ensured and as a final thing as a tenth point in the blueprinting phase make detailed flowchart diagrams so actually uh, the uh, the IT team should create a flow charts uh, that flow diagrams of the process say MMP, PSD, QM, PM wm or whatever it may be so construct a flow flow chart with the roles that is who is doing that and how and of the business process so that it makes the users easily understand and uh, sign the uh, BB, bbp that is business blueprinting uh, document so i think actually uh, i have covered easily understood the uh, the second phase of the sap methodology and actually that is blueprinting and now we are moving to uh, the third phase that is realization phase this is also very critical phase here only you are configuring and realizing the uh, whatever the design uh, suggested by the business so as a first point here get the business blueprint signed off so in this phase actually the business will sign that if they are okay we accept that uh, the, the process be designed by the IT team this can be a uh, most difficult part of the phase completion training and the continuous uh, buy-in and selling or the key 
I mean key process here and have the development scoped and approved so it is a it is best to kill as many uh, unrealistic developments as possible and as a third uh, thing document functional specification so uh, we have to return uh, we have the return specification completed for later use and as a fourth point configure guide uh, configure guide generate uh, generate versus solution manager so in it uh, in this actually we need to ensure that the basis team uh, does a proper configuration to make the system work for you that is very important so we need to the project manager or the person who is leading the project or project lead should coordinate with the basis person to bring the required <coughs> uh end results so that that is more 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 important and as a fifth point update the project plan accordingly so it seems less critical uh, but it is very important to update from uh, a compliance and the management stand standpoint that is very important and uh, so as a sixth point complete execution of planning of the training so this complete this ensures or completes the customer project training cycle if don't if you do uh, i mean actually if you not don't do this do not do this it implies that you have been you have decided the uh, to also say uh, support post goal team that is also uh, ensured and regularly as a seventh point regulate the change management efforts so to ensure that you have uh, effectively employed a change management methods and techniques and as a eighth thing eighth thing test test and test some more so it, we need to uh, completely test all the solutions implemented and configured everything so actually we need to get it accepted uh, first by our internal team that is so that is what i am saying it is essential to decide on the testing approach uh, repeatedly uh, i mean since each of the project will have slight different requirements so we need to test it thoroughly that is important and as a ninth phase review the project solution so i mean actually sap or other third parties will help you to validate your final solution and design approach so uh, this is very much required and uh, participant in involvement of sap is much more required and uh, as a 10th uh, activity complete the project team evaluation process so typically the ongoing process you i mean i mean you are you should form uh, formally announce when you start the the complete uh, when you start and complete this particular task or configuration i mean i mean realization phase that is more important and uh, so thus 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 we are done with the uh, the realization phase as a third phase of uh, as of methodology and now we have the fourth phase called final preparation phase so in this actually we have to realize i mean uh, i mean we have to realize the phase document signed off so uh, similar to the blueprint sign off uh, sign off training and the continuous buy in and selling are the are the key important role here and then complete developments so this fries right so fries come completes forms reports interfaces uh, conversions and enhancements all to be documented and ready for use and then finish the end user training and in this uh, say for example training the end user and make uh, the make your uh, project or activity or e easier so a uh, cut cut scope before you cut uh, before you cut the end user training and then uh, train some someone for more more knowledgeable purpose and then actually fourth point revalidate the business case so here the saw that is our software uh, related uh, this one terms right is saw so uh, software workbench kind of thing so based on your initial rf we might change during the project so we need to realign your uh, expectation with the requirement that is the important thing while designing a saw and update the project management plan so updating the project management plan from a compliance uh, compliance and management standpoint of view that is also a very very much uh, mean advisable and as a sixth point deploy the change management activity globally so the scope and scale of change management process should uh, swing into uh, high gear in this space so i mean uh, regular follow up and everything is much more required and as a seventh thing conduct final project review 
so it is very important to especially in large number of uh, developments wherever necessary we need to conduct a final project review and that is considered as a vital thing while uh, in the development projects and then as a eighth point prepare a data migration plan so for for cutover activity so the plan must include uh, action items regarding the purchase orders open purchase order or migrating from the uh, legacy systems to the sap systems for purchase orders uh, sales orders financial documents financial issues and human resource issues everything and actually this is done once the uh, data is available in production system and actually we ensure the solution manager is up to date so we need to whatever document or whatever phase we are doing testing or whatever may be we need to update the solution manager then and that uh, when we finish the configuration or testing whatever it may be so this should uh, be minor issue at the point as you would have i mean as you would have used it for both the blueprint uh, and realization phases along with the documentation so documentation maintenance is very important in the sap project not only as a project whatever project it may be the documentation is very useful and you use used for the future reference purpose in project is uh, when project after project uh, go, go live and support actually the people the it people can do that uh, reference and everything support consultants will uh, will verify and clarify the doubts and everything so that is blueprint that uh, uh, documentation of every phase is very important and action is very important and as a, a tenth point we need to decide on parallel system approach so thereby always the system which will continue to operate along with the sap during the tra transition uh, even if it is difficult to uh, scope out from the ma manpower perspective so we need to do, 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 do i mean whether, whether we are doing parallel system approach or surgical uh, system approach that we need to decide uh, by discussing with the pro uh, business leads and stakeholders and users everybody so that is very important in the in the end of the uh, final preparation of the sap methodology approach for the phase and now we have the final phase that is project go live phase and in this of the sap methodology and in that actually uh, we need to form formally announce that sap live date so ensure that each stakeholder in the company knows about the go live uh, of sap system that is configured system uh, in the company and getting sign off is a second thing so getting sign off from the customer on every aspect of project payment uh, i mean project and payment does not happen until you get the sign off that is so i mean uh, the sign off uh, my sign off is uh, directly related to your uh, your payment so we need to get a proper sign off from each and every action and acceptable deliver and deliver delivery documents and everything and then close out project financials so uh, leave no invoice without payoff so and then value management approach establishment so in this activity continuous monitoring of value management uh, project with the projected case benefits as sap does not have uh, inbuilt pro, uh, i mean inbuilt prediction capability so we need to uh, uh, project uh, the benefits that is very important and as a fine and fifth uh, event close the uh, pro project management plan so for project uh, uh, prioritizing organizations it is crucial that all the steps of the projects are closed out and as a sixth step operate cha operate change management on the goal basis so here the success uh, comes from the effective change management post go live and the customer should take uh, this as a part of his responsibility that is very important and as a seventh event collective uh, collect lessons learned from the projects so that is that means the reviewing of project uh, success and project sanctions and everything so collect all the lessons learned from the structured projects to ensure the effective future projects so we need to excel all the activities and all the lessons we have learned from the project run so uh, from that actually we are finally when we not finally it is an eighth system conducting a final steering com steering committee meeting with the stakeholders and users so it is important that uh, say for example uh everybody should know about the role in the project and uh, the project uh, i mean the, the project live and everything and moreover it is a great way to say uh, thanks and discuss the future steps for the for all stakeholders that is 
crucial thing in the project uh, phases. And then as a ninth thing, prepare a continuous improvement plan. So we need to list out the value of management approach and, and should be planned for future implementation phases. And as a tenth, stay, tenth thing, verify support from the organization. Ensure that Solman is always ready and uh, and all and, and and that all the support staff members uh, are certi certified uh, certified to handle first level support. So that is uh, considered very important. So actually, uh, in short, actually, uh, the in the in the the first uh, phase that is a uh, project preparation phase, where the project manager invol involvement is much more required. And he can decide what is the exact user uh, population, what is the volume of uh, uh, data, and what is the, how many regions they are uh, operating. And based on that server uh, server capacity, server sizing, and what is the team involvement is required, and what is the business process to be followed uh, in, uh, in the client phase. So uh, all the things can be ca ca handled by the uh, by the uh, team and the project manager. And once they uh, say once they prepare uh, all the uh, final decision they will uh, write an assets document that is asset is document and then from that we need to what is to be done that is to be documented in the uh, in the SAP system uh, in or in the business process to be developed and uh, from assets and to be analysis actually the experiment I mean the experienced consultants can know how to design how to organize the uh, process and everything so they will help the junior consultant to design the process and thereby we, we uh, after the final discussion we need to uh, create a blueprinting document and actually as i already known actually i already told actually requirement gatheration is done through many many different types questionnaire one to one thing and conducting meeting and uh, questionnaire i told already so uh, so uh, and the hybrid models collection of everything so once that blueprinting is signed off by the user, we need to uh, start a configuration in the realization phase. So every configuration is done and then actually we need to uh, develop the rise of activity and everything. Technical uh, help is more uh, required for creating an interface, IDOC or forms or routines or whatever may be enhancement or whatever may be. So uh, once everything is well documented, this configuration, and the development activity is well documented actually then actually we are good for that uh, I mean life and before that actually uh, we, we need to run unit testing in the development client and then once development client unit testing is over we will uh, transport all the configuration and development active development objects to the uh, quality server and there we need to uh, run one uh, quality level unit testing and then integration testing and then actually regression we, we need to run uh, many testing that is regression testing and volume volume and stress testing and everything and see regression testing has already known actually it is uh, say for example uh, in case of rollout say uh, if uh, north america is already having the configuration in place and already users are working and if you are developing if you are working for rollout for south america the new uh, new data or configure data or development data for the South America will not have an impact on the North America data. So to ensure that we need to do regular one set of regression testing uh, in each model, uh, MMSDP, PQM, uh, PM, whatever maybe. And then actually, uh, so if everything is done naturally, uh, so no no system uh, stoppage or no system hang, nothing is there, nothing is observed. Everything is looks fine. Then we will do the transport to production system on particular date or uh, predetermined date i mean just where uh, the id team will id team project manager will discuss with the stakeholders and uh, everybody to decide to finalize the date of go live once a go live when that uh, transfer transporting all the uh say i mean not go live transporting the uh, production data i mean the, uh, the configure and development data to the production system we will then start a cutover activity in the uh, uh, the final preparation that is both the phase of the sub methodology and thereby actually the consultants will be uh, work on the uh, migration of data uh, from the legacy system to sap or already existing sap system to a uh, to a new sap system and also they will work for if it is uh, 
already existing system then actually open sap open sales orders open uh, say actually open document fi documents and everything pp documents pm documents qn documents can be migrated to the new system that is called through lsmw or bdc or papi or something through a migration tool or uh, so uh, once it is done actually data is verified by at the table level by the client managers or client data data uh, migration specialist in the client at the client level then they will do sign off in each or uh, in each phase we need to get a sign off on uh, from the client so the, it directly depends on the so the sign off will help us to get the payment and the invoice processing or whatever it may be and actually we need to find once everything data is over actually we will go we will we are set for the go live and go live date uh the i mean uh, the go live date was informed by is informed to every stakeholders and users so they will run on the date of go live they will the users will start the the day-to-day -day business transaction one by one in each model and integration processing and everything if everything is okay then the project will be success and if any issues then actually we need to work on the uh, issues that is created during the uh, user uh, scenario run so we need to support the then and there so we have we have the different uh, support uh, and actually uh, SLAs are there and we need to meet that uh, criteria, criteria and everything is then that the project will be closed and then actually it was the project was uh, handed over to the sub support team by, by giving KT by the, the project team will give the KT to the support team and they will hand over the system to the hand over the system for support and support team will do post go live support and they will help the customer by contacting them directly through mail or or through phone or whatever it may be through a chat or something and uh, the, uh, the customers were informed that the users were informed to create a ticket in the ticketing tool uh, so thereby that the ticket was routed to the particular uh, support team and they will in turn support the uh, sap issues and everything so they will coordinate with the user and get the things done so this is the post go live support and everything so they will uh, the support team will do that if any re-engineering is required or any addition of new purchase group or sales group or, or any uh, material group is required they will create the user will create a ticket and they will uh, create a new group configuration and transport and they will try create in development and uh, they will test that in uh, quality and then uh, if the user uh, asking for user to do uat and then user once user confirms it uh, the transport will be moved to production and also actually i missed that in project uh, in the SAP methodology phase where uh, user need to do UAT once that integration testing was done by the uh, IT people and user was uh, users were alerted uh, uh, system to uh, run a UAT and if UAT was success then they will agree to sign do the sign off for moving the data to production so this is very important uh, these are the main activities and main phases in ASAP methodology of SAP projects so uh, the, the ASAP methodology uses water flow methodology and actually now we have uh, SAP activate methodology so that is entirely different from uh, water flow methodology in the sense actually in uh, the first phase the second phase is not depending on the first one and each in each in each uh, each phase is uh, not connected to the uh, in uh, earlier phase so the that type of strategy they are using in uh sap activate uh, methodology so i think the details given by me here actually are very useful thanks for listening my videos